morning, everyone. Great to see you. The youth are having a silent auction today, so I'm going to be silent. After the service, please go over to the fellowship hall. They got some wonderful things over there. I'm in a bidding war with a couple people here, but uh, that's okay. The goal is to try to raise money for the youth camp, and you'll find some wonderful things over there. Operation Christmas Child, uh, the boxes we have out there, this Wednesday is the last day to bring those in, so please bring them in. You can bring them in tonight or during the week. Just give a call to make sure there's somebody here to let you in. Usually Brother John or myself are here. Also, this coming Wednesday is our Thanksgiving meal. We haven't had it in a couple years. I'm looking forward to it. The church will take care of hams, turkeys, and rolls. We ask that you bring in some good sides and desserts, enough to share. Uh, we'll have a couple hundred people over there. You'll get to meet some people you've never met before, so... Come on over and enjoy a good meal. Uh, this coming uh, Saturday, our ladies um, have a fellowship time at 10 o'clock in the morning. And then at 12, they're going to be doing a sewing project. You can read the, the bulletin about uh, thanks, uh, the office being closed on Thanksgiving. Uh, our decorating and hanging of the greens will be done on the 27th. I just want to emphasize a couple things. The Joy Luncheon, for that's for 50 or older. It says 55 in your bulletin, 50 or older. From 11.30 to 1 on Wednesday the 1st. Men's breakfast will be on the 4th. And then there are two musical um, coming up to help us to focus on Christmas. Our children every year like to do one on a Wednesday evening. That will be on December the 8th. And that's our 6.30 time frame. Come on in here. We'll do that. And then our sanctuary choir will be here. That's what they sing at the 8.30 service. And they will be doing the uh, Three Gifts Christmas Cantata. And if you've never been to a Christmas cantata, you've missed a blessing, so please come out for those. We are still looking for some teachers and helpers for Children's Church and Little Lambs. You can read about that in the back of the bulletin. And I think that's all the announcements. I'm waiting for the press to the praise him. I can talk longer if you need me to, Miss Jessica. Okay. Thanks.
Praise the Lord. We're so grateful to our Lord Jesus, who is our cornerstone. No other foundation can any man lay than that which is laid, Jesus Christ our Lord. So grateful for that. So grateful to see you this morning. And, um, you know, with the pandemic, we took away about 100 chairs. We were designed for about 500 seats in this auditorium, and we kind of downsized and spread things out. And, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but this week we added another row back. So we added 28 more because uh, last week we were getting kind of a little bit tight there. And uh, there's something called a, a Pareto principle, the principle of 2080s. And once a, once a sanctuary becomes 80% full, some people quit coming because they think, oh, I must not be needed here. They barely have room for me. And and we love big families. I mean, I was raised in a family of uh, 10. And so when we went out to dinner, which was a rare thing, you know, talk about waiting for a table. Uh, you know, we're going to have to build another wing. Uh, just, uh, you know, so uh, when, I, when we see families coming in and not, you know, like uh, going to the cry room or something because they can't all sit together, it's time to add another row. So we're, we're grateful actually to do that. Well, as we go to the Lord in prayer today, um, first of all, let me give a shout out to our United States Marine Corps, a belated happy birthday, Marines, and uh, last month it was the sailors, and this was Veterans Day. Yeah, amen. Thank the Lord for them. We thank the Lord for, um, for you. We thank the Lord for all of our veterans, and it kind of came in the middle of the week this week, so it's kind of weird, but I know a lot of people are still traveling, and I just want to give a shout out to anyone that's watching. We honor all of our uh, vets here at Center View Baptist Church. We thank God for you and for your sacrificial service. And uh, once, once a Marine, always a Marine. Once a sailor, always a sailor. And, and so on and so forth with all of our services. Um, as we go to the Lord in prayer uh, today, there are, there are several of our families who are really reeling, uh, as in from death. Missy Oaks, who is one of our dear teachers in the preschool ministry, uh, her daddy passed away. Uh, you know, her daddy was a leader of a of an old-fashioned gospel quartet. He sang here before in times past and a preacher of the gospel. And uh, of course, he's with Lord Jesus now, but he passed from COVID. And now he has a, a younger brother that's in the ICU in the same battle. That uh, So, you know, her uncle's uh, battling for his life right now. So let's pray for the Oaks family this morning. You know, once you join Centerview, we, we, uh, we, you're, you're ours for life from our view. In fact, Miss Angel, is Angel here? I saw her. She was, so uh, a sweet lady named Angel was here. There you go, sweetie. Uh, and uh, mama of how many now? Uh, two. And so when she uh, came, they were just uh, young and, and uh, uh, you're still young. Uh, but uh, <laughs> at any rate, I, I lose track of time. It's been probably more than 10 years or something like that. And uh, welcome back. Um, one of our former members passed away. And, you know, sometimes families, you know, uh, get divorced. And so Cheryl Cruz, her, her husband, Chuck, and, and Cheryl never remarried or anything, but her husband, Chuck, passed away. And... Uh, Kind of a long story, but uh, we're going to be doing a memorial service for Chuck since the kids weren't welcome to Chuck's service with town this week. So yeah, whisper prayer for the Cruz family. I'll be leading them in a, in a private memorial service here at this church for their, for their uh, father. And I thank the Lord for Cheryl's testimony. She always loved Chuck and stood by his side, even when he left her. And so uh, we're, we're going to do his celebration of life. He did give his heart to Lord Jesus, and uh, God doesn't do any take backsies. Uh, even though um, life can be complicated, um, we believe once a Christian, if you're sincere, then always a uh, Christian. So we're going to be doing his service. Pray for that dear family as they're mourning the loss of uh, the passing of their dad. Um, shifting gears a little bit as we, we're going to offer a prayer also for our offering this morning. Uh, for our, and we thank the Lord for the faithful stewards here at Center of Baptist Church. Here's a cool story as far as a missionary in focus. This, this delighted my soul to read this. Liam and Nicole Remington. Now, they are serving the Lord Jesus in East Asia. Yeah, I joined the Navy 51 years ago. There was a little thing in East Asia going on called the Vietnam War. And um, so East Asia can go from Vietnam, Cambodia, all the way to the Philippines. It, it takes in a lot of countries. A lot of those countries are now heavily um, Islamic, and so the, there are mosques everywhere. And in some of those countries, you really can't be in... Um, you know, so outspoken about the faith, the church is sometimes underground because the church is uh, oftentimes attacked or bombed if they put up a cross. And so Liam and Nicole live in one of those countries. The first thing they did, and that's not their real name for security reasons, but the first thing Liam did, he's been, they've been there over 10 years, was put the Bible 
into the heart language of an unpe- unreached people group in the, in the uh, area that he works in. For 10 years, he worked with, a, with, a, with a, uh, a native of that unreached people group to put the Bible, the New Testament, into the heart language of those people. And for 10 years, he, he, he worked beside this man. He witnessed to him, told him the story of Jesus, witnessed to him, told him the story of Jesus, witnessed to him, used his skills to put the Bible in their language. And his, um, the story is a close relative died. He went back to the States to do a funeral. And the, the gentleman never accepted Christ. But the day he drove him back to the States, when he got out of the car, the man said, Pastor, I'm praying to the Lord Jesus, to our Lord Jesus for you. And of course, he just was floored. After 10 years of witnessing, uh, this man had trusted Christ. And so let's pray for the Remington family today uh, as they're serving the dear Lord Jesus. Our offer of scripture is Colossians 3.23. And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men. Can I just, can I just, uh, 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 there's a silent auction right now going on for our youth group. Let me tell you, the purpose of this auction is not um, a fundraising activity. The purpose of this auction is any of the monies that get uh, designated are going to go to send the youth to camp next summer. If, if they can't go to camp next summer because of COVID, then we'll roll it over to the, to the next time the youth does a big event or camp. And so um, I, I just want to share that many of you have worked hard. I know my wifey Pooh did a quilt. And I know that the materials for the quilt cost like 150 bucks. I'm just saying, it's, a, it's like a really nice big quilt. The materials cost 150 bucks. I bid 175. One of you came back and bid 250. Whew. Um, <laughs> so uh, here's the deal. Go there, and whether it's a jar of honey that someone made, or a quilt that someone made, or a little handcraft, or a Christmas decoration, here's the, here's the deal. You're doing it for the youth. So don't try, don't try to beat out the other guy. Be generous, because have I mentioned this one? It's going for the youth. This is not a fundraiser where we're asking people from the world to come in and send our kids to camp. We're asking our church to send our kids to camp by buying some of these uh, decorations. Well, let's go to the Lord in, in prayer, and we're thankful today for all Marines and sailors and guardsmen and airmen and, and uh, Coast Guardies. Uh, who did I leave out? Uh, uh, all of our military forces around the globe today serving on every steep and climb and uh, many in harm's way, many, many serving arduously. Um, so glad uh, to have uh, my, my dear son-in-law here today. Many are serving arduously here in the States these days in refugee camps. So that's a whole new uh, twist on, uh, but they're still away from their family, still away, still working hard, you know, um, like just pedal to the metal, no time off. God, we love you. And we just want to, first of all, master bow before you you are our creator, God. We, are, we have been fearfully and wonderfully made in thy image. And Father, that's more than we can take in. It's more than our minds can grasp that you are God. There is none beside thee. You always have been. You always will be. You do not change. You do not sleep. You do not slumber. And one day you said, let there be light. And there was light. And at the, the end of that six-day creation period, God, you you made man in your image. And you said, let us make him in our likeness. And so, Master, we just want to recognize you as our maker, as our creator. We are yours by the right of creation. And for those of us who are in your son, we are, we are yours by the right of redemption. You not only loved us and created us, but when we rebelled against you in the garden, you had a plan before you even made the world to rescue the world through thy son. And thank you, King Jesus, that you became God incarnate. You, you took on flesh and became one of us that you might be the firstborn from the dead amongst many brethren. And and so we thank you, Jesus, that you lived for us, you loved us, you died for us, you rose for us, you ascended back to the Father, and now you're with him as you pray for us, and one day preparing to come soon and very soon to receive us unto thyself. We thank you for the glorious gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we cry out today for those who are hurting in our family faith. We cry out for Miss Cheryl. Thank you for a testimony of unfailing love and and uh, we pray that you administer to her heart in Chuck's passing and for Dakota and Caitlin as their daddy has gone uh, to be with you, Master. We, we just pray comfort into their lives. We pray today for the Oaks family, Father, and for Miss Misty is, uh, and DJ for their great faithfulness here and for uh, a father who brought up his daughter in your nurture and admonition who now lives for you, sold out for you. And uh, God may... Um, in that he is with you, Lord, may 
May he just, uh, as your Bible says, experience your fullness of joy and, and at your right hand where there are pleasures forevermore. We pray for dear uncle that is sick. And God, if possible, we pray that this cup may pass. We pray that uh, Misty's heart will not be double broken during these days. So God, if possible, would you allow him to be well and to rebound and to stay with his family and be a, a patriarch in that family. Uh, God, we thank you for our military men and women in this church, those who have served, those who are serving. Uh, but God, that you'd be with them today in a special way, especially those who are deployed away from us, uh, from those who are longing to be with their family, be with that family that, that, that awaits to reunite with their service member, and that uh, we thank you for that, Master. Uh, God, we pray now that you would take charge of this service. We, we pr- uh, give a shout out to our missionaries, uh, Lord, that we have spoken of, Liam and his dear wife, as they are serving you in the Far East. And, and God, may thank you for that testimony of the conversion of the, the linguist who helped them translate the Bible. And we pray that that would just be the beginning, that there would be a floodgate now of, of conversion testimonies because someone went, because someone cha- translated your word into their heart language. So God, we give you praise, honor, and glory. Provide for their needs. Master, forgive us for our sins. Use this time to expose our hearts, to expose our darkness, and, and, and help us to remember that we are children of the light and to walk as children of the light. We give you all the praise, all the honor, all the glory in Jesus' name. And all of God's kiddos said... Amen. Let's worship the Lord through song one more time, and then we're going to have uh, worship, and then we're going to have baptism at the end. Let's stand sir.
Wowie zowie, praise the Lord. God is good. 